Hey, this is Phil. I want to give you the final review on this jacket, okay? Um, let me get this down a smidge. I just want to get it down a little bit. And maybe she can see the damn jacket. I don't want to be walking five miles back. Here we go. Alright. So this is the jacket. I'm wearing my exercise shorts and a t-shirt here, so I hope you're okay with that. Um, first off, your your interaction with with any jacket is the zipper. That's the first thing you run into. This has a really good zipper on it, okay? Um, has good pockets in it. The pockets also have good zippers on them, okay? It has a foam pocket here, which let's try to suck her out. I got a this is a iPhone SE. It's an old one. Fits in there perfect, okay? You got uh, two places here for, I guess, either a flashlight, a little baby flashlight, or, or uh, pencils or stuff, stuff like that. You got um, a pocket in here for whatever you want to put in here. And, you know, ostensibly you might put a wallet in there or maybe a steel plate so if you get shot in the chest it protects your heart. <laughs> um... As you can see, look, look at this. It's got uh, reflective tape all the way around, okay? Now, I really wanted to love this jacket. I really do. And I still like it a whole lot. And I'm happy I got four of them, but I won't be buying any anymore. I was going to buy probably another four more. But a problem rose up out of wearing them today. And it's actually because of this outer cover and what it points to is that this is probably a waterproof jacket I don't I haven't tested that yet but I bet you this is waterproof um, but that means it's like wearing a plastic bag on you so it does not breathe so you sweat in some so and that's what's nice about the lining right here okay now what I do wish they had done and it would have probably made it twice as expensive is I wish that this liner was removable so that you could just take the liner out and maybe put the jacket down on the floor and spray the inside of the plastic out with like Windex or something, just wipe it. Because that's how you clean this here. Because this is plastic. This is not fabric. So what you use is you use Windex or you use something that, and if you get stains on it, I would probably try to use some uh, Clorox cleanup, but I would test that on the fabric first because you might wind up with spots. But it, it might work pretty good if you get big stains on it. Because I've seen a lot of these jackets that people have worn for years. And they get, like, dingy and gross looking. I don't want it to be, you know, I don't want it to look like that. But we'll see. But the number one thing is today was, uh, first off, I stayed warm all day. I stayed over warm all day. <laughs> and the temperature was between 40, about 40 and 50 degrees. And with wind. And no wind got through this jacket, which was awesome. So I was soaked on the inside of here. I was soaked. So I, which, I change my work shirt every day anyway. But I have a work shirt that's made of polyester and cotton, I think. And it soaks up my sweat pretty good. But that was that's what I would tell you if you get a jacket like this is dress with clothes that soak up the sweat. Because you won't get cold. You the the, the You'll sweat inside, which will cool you off, and then you'll get enough breeze, because I, I got the extra large jacket, I went back at the extra large jacket, which leaves a hole in the bottom. And what that does is that allows uh, sort of a natural conduction of air through the jacket up to the top. Because if it's completely tight, you won't get no conduction of air. But if it's a little bit loose and there's just a teeny bit of space as you move, it'll act like a pump. And it'll pump air through the jacket, and it'll pump it right at the top. It'll pump your moisture right at the top. So, and this jacket is is already more comfortable than it was yesterday. Because the thing about these jackets is, the more you wear them, the more this gets it gets squeezed up. It starts moving way better. It starts feeling way better. So, in the whole, I'm glad I got all four jackets. I'm going to keep all four jackets. I'm very happy. Uh, with the safety aspect of this, because I ride bicycles, I would work. I would wear this happily wear this wearing bicycles. Um, 
Uh, I was thinking about getting a motorcycle, which is probably on hold now because I wrecked my car. Because I can't imagine what my face would look like if I had run my face into a uh, Chevy Suburban and going 30 miles an hour. I don't think my face would look too good right now, but uh, even with a full face helmet. Uh, but anyway, the jackets, I'm happy with them. Uh, I would say if you're going to go buy one, is go buy one and keep it. I actually, the thing I like about these jackets is what I would do, it, in any case, what I would do is I would buy one of these jackets, make sure it's comfortable on me. I would put it in a plastic, fold it up, put it in a plastic bag, and put it in the trunk of my car. So if I ever had to change my tire in my car, if I ever had to respond to an accident, because I drive a lot of miles. I see a lot of stuff happen, and sometimes I do respond to accidents. And people are just not paying attention. You know, and this actually helped me on my job today, which was pretty cool because I had to go to a major hospital and I had to deliver, uh, believe it or not, a mattress. And I went, I couldn't find a room, but the room was in a locked hallway. Uh, the number was in a locked hallway. I would have never found it. But anyway, I got the help from a wonderful little uh, janitor lady there, and she was determined. She was going to find that room for me. And uh, we, I followed her all over that hospital. We went up to the first floor. We went to the nurses' station. The nurse there was wonderful. The nurses were all wonderful. This is the nurses' supervisor station. Uh, I asked them. And they got in contact with the person, and the person took me downstairs. Originally, he said, well, go get the mattress and bring it. I said, well, let's go find a room first. He couldn't find a room for a half an hour. <laughs> and he works there. I said, the number system in this hospital is trash, man. <laughs> he says, yeah, it is. <laughs> but to get him to me, I, the nurses called him and said, well, you just wait outside. And they said to him, he'll be the guy in the neon jacket. And so uh, here I was. I was the guy in the neon jacket. So I'm pretty happy with these jackets. I mean, so far. Uh, right now, uh, it's a little sticky on the inside because I was sweating so much. So that leads to another problem is uh, washing them. Uh, these jackets with the liner that's sewed in, they will have to be washed fairly frequently. They should be washed on gentle and cold with not very much um, uh, detergent. And they say there's 25 washings in this jacket. I believe it probably depending on how you wash it. If you wash it on gentle, you probably get 100, 120, 130 washings. But the number one thing is pull, when you when you wash it, what you want to do is you don't ever put this in the dryer. You pull this out like this. You pull these jackets, pull these pockets out like this. And then you put it on a hanger and you hang it over your uh, bathtub if you got uh, something you can hang it over your bathtub with and you just let it sit there for four five six hours and it'll drop and it won't damage anything in the construction of the jacket so I like these jackets will I buy any more no I got four so I'm good uh, are they a good deal oh hell yeah they're a good deal and if, if you're in any situation where you work at night or you walk at night especially if you walk at night some of us we work a whole day, we go walking at night. And in the cold, these would be real nice, especially if you do slow walking. Uh, I can't emphasize this enough. I cannot emphasize this enough. If you are walking at night, please, please, please don't wear black. Please don't do it. It's a, it's a popular fashion statement today. If you're wearing black or dark green or dark blue, we can't see you in the cars. And a lot of people were wearing it and walking down the streets. And you will get killed. And it'll be somebody, it won't be me because I'm watching, but it'll be somebody on the phone or somebody talking to somebody next to them, and all of a sudden, thump. And you can get it, if you get hit by a car, you can get injuries that take the rest of your life that you have to deal with. And you don't want that ever. So, love the jacket. Really do love these jackets. The price was outstanding. Glad I got four, but that's all I'm getting. These will probably last me. The way I'm going to use them is I'm going to use them at my job. I'm going to use them at night whenever I'm out doing stuff. I'm going to use them when I'm working on my car on the street, you know, if I ever had to change a tire or something. Uh, so they'll be limited use jackets. 
I'll have my other blue jacket for when I want to, you know, go out, regular stuff like that, uh, and work out in the yard or something like that. Um, but I'm going to keep looking for bomber jackets that are uh, like ski jackets that are uh, affordable to buy because I can I can go online right now and I can buy a, a ski jacket for five hundred dollars. That's exactly what I'm looking for. But I don't want to spend five hundred dollars for a ski jacket. That's crazy, isn't it? Because I go to Charlestown and lose a thousand dollars in a night. So, and that's crazy. So anyway, these jackets are great. Uh, they are sealed. They do not breathe. You will sweat in them, but they're wonderful. So get you one if you're going to get one, and try it out, and just keep it because you can put this. Always put this. This thing will be great if it starts snowing with this this here. And I love this, that I can fold this up. I'm going to, after the video's over, I'm going to take this, I'm going to fold this up like this, and I'm putting it in this little sleeve right here. And then it'll be protected, which is very cool. I love it. But anyway, good jacket. Doesn't breathe at all. You're going to sweat in it, but it looks like it's going to be pretty durable. I'm going to love owning these, but I'm not buying four more. <laughs> this is good enough for me right now. And I got three more to, to buoy me through. And I'm going to keep looking for that perfect bomber jacket. I mean, I got these right here that I got from Walmart. And for 20, I think they were 20 bucks each. And for 20 bucks each, the service I got out of these jackets, I can't complain. And these do breathe. And you can sweat in these, and your sweat will come out of the jacket, and you still won't get cold, which is very cool. And they do have a little uh, uh, hood in here, but it's just a, a polyester sleeve that protects your head. But you know what? That little poly polyester sleeve in a drizzly, rainy day, it actually works. It actually does work to keep your head warm and keep you, keep you warm. Because what it does, it, pre it preserves the amount of heat coming out of the top of your jacket, and it brings it around your head. And it also keeps the rain off of your head. So anyway, good jackets. I do recommend them. I just recommend you just buy one, you know, and then keep it in the car, in your trunk. So if you have to respond to your own flat tire emergency, or if you have to help somebody on the side of the road or something, you can throw this on real quick, and then people will see you. Because people see you in this jacket. People have been looking at me ever since I put this on. They're wondering, why is that fool wearing that jacket? And I'm like, going, exactly, that's why. I mean, I don't get, I, I don't get walked at in the hallways. I don't get, you know, and this is like the great space maker. I love it, you know, but I just wish it was breathable, which is not breathable, but that's within the limitations of the plastic outer liner. But it is a quality made jacket. It's at uh, National Tools now on sale. Uh, but I would recommend you buy one. Don't buy four. I'm not returning my jackets. I love my jackets. And I'm going to figure out a way to wash this thing without destroy it and I think the way to wash it is to wash it on gentle in cold with a very small amount very just a little little dip of detergent you just want enough detergent to pull the sweat out that's it because detergent can be destructive on fabrics especially on the stitching what detergent will do to stitching is it'll eat it if you use too much of it especially if you use hot water so you want to be careful with that. love the jacket I do recommend them. Uh, I wish they had a removable liner, which they did have one there with a removable liner, but like I said, it was like $20 more. These are things I'm learning that uh, as I go along, uh, I guess my next bomber jackets may have removable liners in them, I don't know. But I'm looking forward to getting more of these. If Walmart ever brings them in, uh, I wouldn't mind having these for 20 bucks each. Another five of these. But until then, I've got this to keep me warm and safe and, and not rained on. And they're awesome jackets. Just buy one. Don't buy four. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching the video. Peace.